All right. Welcome back to level two in May here at the 920. I'm Amanda. I'm Kevin. And uh, this week we did a lot of sort of meta thinking about the dance as well. And we were learning about different styles of swing music. Yeah. We introduced you to like, uh, like the different eras of swing music. Uh, we showed you uh, music from the 20s, uh, but we also showed you like the recreation of the 20s music during the 50s. Right. Bands like Lou Waters. Uh, and then we progressed on to the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s. Yeah. So in the 1920s, uh, it was more of like sort of a Dixieland, traditional jazz, Charleston-y feeling. One of the verbs that we used to, or adjectives we used to describe it was kind of janky. It has sort of like an oompa, oompa, oompa feel to it, yeah. um, which really lends itself to sort of like kicking yeah. and Charleston. Yeah. And so we did a little bit of that. Um, and then, uh, in the 1930s with big band, we heard that these were larger bands with like entire sections of trumpets and entire sections of clarinets, and they're all playing the same thing. It's a little bit more organized and less sort of that chaotic feeling of Dixieland or New Orleans jazz where like every instrument is playing something different. So Big Band gives you a lot more to follow. It's a little bit smoother. Yeah. It's less janky. Um, it has more of a t -t 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 feel as yeah. opposed to a oompa oompa feel. Yeah, yeah. It's a four um, beat rather than a two beat. Uh, 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 and so we talked more about like that's a good place to like be doing your swing outs and keeping it a little bit smoother and less um, it's less like a I have to do Charleston kind yeah. of feel to it. And then from there, uh, we had you guys dance to songs with various uh, changes in it. So one of the songs we danced to was St. Louis Blues. Uh, and that song has like a Latin feel intro. And then it like switches swings. to and a then, Latin feel. Yeah. And then halfway through, it goes back to that. Um, and then additionally, we well, also... And oh, one of the things we talked about is like, when a switch like that happens in the music, it's not generally a good idea or like it's not, you're not really paying attention to the music if you just keep doing the same thing you were doing, but like slower or trying to do it to the Latin beat. Uh, so for the Latin beat, for instance, we recommended that maybe you stay in closed position and do more of like walking around or swaying back and forth, yeah. right? Um, and same thing in the other song that we played that had a, a really big change, which was by Mirabis Duchesne, which has a section where like it totally drops out and then it gets really, really slow and then it gets faster and faster and faster and faster and faster until it gets even faster than it was at the beginning. Yeah. And again, when it's really slow, just trying to do like the same moves that you were doing before, but super like excruciatingly slow is not really listening to the music or dancing with the music. So yeah. again, we talked about maybe closed position would be better doing some walking around. And then when you hear it start to speed up and the beat, that beat, that swing beat comes back in, then you can go back to doing your swing outs. Yeah. So that song we like sort of did like three different things. We like yep. danced it pretty chill and then we like danced it real slow and then we swung out and then we were like, this is too fast. We got to do Charleston. Yep. Um, exactly. So we wanted to make you aware of like the different possibilities uh, out there. Um, just exposing you to like a variety yeah. of stuff. And you're, you're, you will be dancing more to the music the more you hear the music. So again, your homework for this week is to listen to swing music. Yeah. In your car, at home, in the shower, wherever, listen to swing music. The more you listen to it, the better you'll be. Yeah. That's it. See you next week.